para una cara jodida. Sí, sí, sí. Mañana tengo que ir al seguro de acuerdo con lo que me digo. A ver si me puede dar un poco que no me han dejado. Como ahora no están. Ok. Hello, good evening. Hello, everybody. How are you? No, dice no, que me tengo Mendoza. Se llama es el nervio frigénico el que está jodido. O sea, que está demasiado inflamado. No, porque hello, hello. Eh, Good no, evening. no puedo por las investigaciones y todo lo demás. Este, no es conveniente. Hello, teacher. Hey, hello, Angel. How are you? Everything I, fine? I, teacher. Okay. Hi. Tired. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, there is Gerard next to. Good evening, teacher. Hey, hello, Gloria. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hey, hi. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hey, hi, Daisy. Hi, how are you? Good. Waiting for, waiting, waiting for Friday. <laughs> um, así como party, party. Yes, party time. Friday, party time. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so here, look at this map, okay, and then we're going to answer the questions that we have okay that was say is there okay say is there exercise teacher yes this is an exercise ah, okay about the Ter, continue yesterday. Yes, this is the review that we had yesterday, and now we're going to do the other side. Okay, okay. And, and then at the map, let's say, for example, is there a uh, okay. 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 I'm going to leave you the. Okay. Uh, turn off your microphone. I don't. I don't know watching um, the map. Okay. Can you see it in your computer? No. Uh, I, um, in my cell phone. Oh, okay, good. But, just, uh, uh, turn off a fine from the phone. Okay. So then we have the, okay, look at this one. Okay, first, take a look, okay. Write some sentences individualmente. Okay, individually write some sentences using next to. Remember, for example, uh, the post office is on Main Street. Okay, uh, the park is between the First National Bank and the grocery store. Yes. Uh, you say, for example, you can say here. First Avenue Shopping Center is near the gas station or near the public library or close to the public library. Okay, escriban cinco oraciones, right? Write five sentences using next to, on, behind, okay, near, close. 
using this map, usando este map. Okay? Okay. Yes. Okay. And solo déjenme chequear algo acá. Voy a apagar mi cámara un ratito, pero aquí estoy, okay? Just let me check. Solo déjenme chequear algo, okay? Pero comiencen a escribir las oraciones, right? You write your sentences. Right, right. Okay. <clears throat> Five sentences, remember, okay? Only. Using behind, on, next to, between, near, near to, near, uh, close to.
Hi, teacher. Okay, good. Done. Hi, Ellie. How are you? I'm fine. In que estamos ahorita? Okay. Just uh, writing sentences using this map and the prepositions on, behind, between, next to. For example, you can uh, use the grocery store is next to the bank. The okay. electronics the store is behind the post office. Okay, just mm -hmm. some okay. sentences and practicing them with the map and the and the prepositions. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's see, just mm -hmm. four. Don't worry, if you have only one, two, three, no problem, okay? Uh, okay. Daisy, read your sentences, please. <laughs> oh, the one um, you have, tell me the sentences. Um, okay, teacher. First, a bank is just behind the King Plaza, Hotel. Kim okay, Plaza. the first okay. national bank is behind the Kim Plaza Hotel. Okay. What else? Okay. Pine Street uh, is below the park. Mm, okay, you can say the park. The park is on Pine Street. Mm, okay, okay. Uh -huh. El lugar en la street. The park is on Pine Street, uh huh. Okay. Um, uh, Joyce, Joyce Jim uh -huh. is, is next to. Se dice la par? Se me okay. Next to, next to, uh huh. Next to post office. Okay. It's just in the right. Yes, then you say Joe Jim is next to the post office. Yes, thank you, correct. Okay. Um, the second avenue is between the park and the, the gross... Grocery store. Uh-huh, yes. grocery <laughs> store. The grocery store. Oh, mom uh -huh. and pop's grocery. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And you can also use a mom and pop grocery is on Second Avenue. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's another one. Okay. Thank teacher. you, Daisy. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, okay. teacher. All right. Anybody else? Gloria? Okay. Um, veamos. The post office next to John Jim. Okay, post office is next to Joe's gym. Uh -huh. uh, Kim Plaza Hotel in front of uh, Elm Street. Uh, Elm Street. Oh, here, aquí es mejor decir. Ah, okay. The Kim Plaza is on. 
Elm Street, on. Is, is on. Elm eh, Street. Espería. Kim Plaza Hotel is from. On. On. Okay, on. Elm Street. Elm Street. Ajá, okay. Sobre la calle. Eh, veamos. Sobre la calle, okay. Tengo otra, veamos. All days department stores across from stops to. Uh, where's that one? Oh, okay, yes. There you said that. Uh, uh -huh, here. Mm -hmm. uh, All days department uh, store. Uh, mm -hmm, yes. Next across one. From, okay. Electronics about post of the office. Is the electronic is? is the electronic is uh, about post of the office. Uh, in back off. Back off. Okay. In back off. In back off. In back oh. off uh, post the office. In back off. The Abajo. Ah, mm. No, but it, arriba, it, perdón, it, arriba. The thing is that if you say uh, in English, arriba es up. Es, es diferente, ajá, no es como en español ah. que decimos arriba y abajo. Aquí ah, está okay. close, behind, near. No. Okay, uh, for example, the electronics store is behind the post office, near the post office, or close to the post office. Pero uh, decir up, or down, or under, ya tiene otras connotaciones, otros significados in, in English, okay? Uh -huh. Okay. 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 Good. Areli? Okay. Um... Kim Plaza Hotel is... Oh, is from off the bank. Okay. Uh, the bank is um is next to the gas yes. station or yes. Hey, the bank. Oh gas station gas station. <laughs> Behind uh -huh. the bank. The bank, okay. Uh, uh, library next to the gas station. Okay, public library. Post office. Mm -hmm. Post office. Uh, from all the park. Okay, at the front of the bar. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, Alex. Okay, teacher. Okay, uh, the Joe's Gene is between post office and O'Day department store. Uh, the public library on Main Street. It's on Main Street, okay. Electronics store behind post office. Electronics store is behind, okay. The post office on the corner of Main Street and Fields Avenue. Okay. The gas station near shopping center. The gas station is near the shopping center. The Fields National Bank next to Prince's Grocery Store. Next to Prince's Store. Excellent. Thank you, Alex. Very good. Hey, Oscar. Hey, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, gas station next to the public library. Public library. Hello. What happened, Oscar?
Maybe we lost Oscar. Oscar. Oh, creo que se desconectó el teacher. Ahí está ya otra vez. Okay. All right, Oscar, sorry. Oscar. Okay, Oscar. Right now. Hello, uh, my gas station. Joyce Jean on Main Street. Post office, the close Fifth Avenue. Hello. Se desconectó otra vez. Va que sí, se le va. Se le va la señal, yo creo. Para que venga otra vez. Hello. Gracias. Hello. Yes, here I am. Yes. Ah, bad connection, Tisha. Yes, no, se fue el internet un ratito, pero siempre se va a veces una, una vez en la noche, ok, but it's back. Ok, really? Okay, go ahead, yes. Ok, the gas station next to public library. Public library. Mm -hmm. The post office, a front park, cross the main street. Shopping center behind the gas station. Just Jim on Main Street. The post office across Fields Avenue. The electronic is there behind post office. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay, and really. then we have uh, Daisy Angel. Yes. Okay, tell me your sentence. Uh, public library is next to gas station. Okay. We, uh, National Bank is next to Princess Gro Gro Grocery Store. Okay. Joyce Jean is between or the post office. Uh, mm -hmm. Of the Pondin Store and post office between the parking store and post office. Okay, that's your dream. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Kim Plaza Hotel is near the Pierce National Bank. Okay, good, thank you. Okay, uh, Tatiana. Good evening. Good evening. The the shopping center is behind the gas station. Okay. Post office, post office is front of the park. Mm. Uh, the, the mom and pop grocery next to Parker um, Drugstore. Okay. Um, Parker uh, Bro Brookstore is between a mom and pop grocery and top chop juice. Top juice. Top juice. That's <laughs> Parker Grocery Store. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, people. So here we have, well, these are, you know, some of the sentences. Now we can practice here. For example, is there a library, hotel, or park near here? Then here you have to take a look at the map, read the question, and choose the right place according to the direction given. Okay, the direction is Yes, there is one. It is on the corner of Elm Street and Maple, Maple Avenue. 
they are talking about the library, the hotel. hotel. Okay. Okay. The hotel? Okay. Yes. Number two. Is yeah. there a... uh, number one. Uh, oh, pardon. Uh -huh. Sí. Yes, there is one. It's next to Princess Grocery Store. Hotel. Number two. Yes. The number two? Bang. Bang. There's a bank, teacher. Okay. How about number three? There is one on Main Street behind Parker's Drugstore. Department store. Department store. Four. There isn't, but there is one on First Avenue and Main Street. There is one on First Avenue and Main Street. The post office. The post office. The park, Joe's gym, or the department store. There is one on Main Street behind Parker's drugstore. What is Parker's drugstore? So we're talking about Parker's drugstore. Department store. About number four. Number four gas station. Number four gas station. Number five. Grocery stores? Grocery stores. Number six. Look at the map. Look at the map. Number six. Intensivo. No, intensivo. Cuatro intensivo. De la nueve a las diez. Number six. Jim. Then seven first avenue across from the shopping center. Shopping center. Electronic store. Electronic store. Electronic store. Number number eight. On the corner of Main and First Avenue. Corner of Main and First Avenue. Payphone. Nine. Next to the gas station. Public library. library. Uh, there are some on Maple Street. Maple Street. Restaurant. Okay.
So we have restaurant, public, safe phone, chronic, gym, grocery stores, gas station, department store, the bank, and the hotel. Okay. Wow, good. Ya no se me pierden en Estados Unidos, right? <laughs> you, you will be able to get where you want to go. Okay, good. That's about prepositions. Let's see the... Now we're going to see how many and how much. Okay, questions with how many and how much. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a neighborhood. Hi again. This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a neighborhood. Hi again. This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very... Okay, guys, come back. I, I have to protest with my internet provider. Okay, so here we have. I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Hi again. This thing will study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. I call you back later. Okay. Okay, so this is the, the dialogue that we were just watching, right? Now, I will show you the, um, 
because the image is blurry. Then we say quantifiers with questions and give out answers. Today is we have how much and how many. Okay, this is the explanation of the video. Hello to all of you. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give out answers. Get ready to listen and take notes if you need to. Quantifiers. How many and how much? Count nouns. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Non-count nouns. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. How much crime is there? There's a lot of street crime. We can say that when nouns in question are count nouns, we can answer using a lot, a few, many, any, none. This will depend on how many there really are. Remember, a lot is a big amount and none is nothing. When nouns in question are non-count nouns, we can use a lot, a little, much, any, none. Remember that when we talk about non-count nouns, both questions and answers are singular. <clears throat> none. This one, we can say that when nouns in question are count Okay, here remember that we have uh, how many, okay, and how much. How much is for non-count nouns, para las cosas que no se pueden contar, one, two, three, four, okay? For example, how much crime, cuánto crimen. In Spanish, yes, we say how many crimes, cuántos crimenes, right? But in English, is how much crime. How much water? Okay, how much? Water. Water. Oh. How much water? Huh? Is how much water? Is there much water? Okay. How much water do you drink a day? How much water is there in the glass? How much coffee? How much sugar? How much water? How much air? Air. How much air? Mm -hmm. And then we have how many restaurants, how many cars, how many books. How much coffee? How much coffee, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are count and non-count. Okay, I'm moving ahead, right? Answers, a lot, bastantes, right? And see that sometimes here is bastantes and here is bastante. A few is plural. Poco. A little, un poco, no es contado. Poco. Many, much. Muchos. Muchos, muchos. Right? Any? Any, nada. Mm, nada, nada. And none, none. Igual, right? Ninguno, ninguno, nada. Okay. We can use a lot, a little, much, any, none. Remember that when we talk about non-count nouns, both questions and answers are singular. Okay. Teacher, ¿y cuando se le pone el a lot of? Significa lo mismo. Yes, when you say, uh, you can say, for example, how much water do you drink a day? A lot. Oh, okay, that's like the short answer. But you can say, I drink a lot of water. When you say a lot of, eh, tiene que agregarle el sustantivo, right? A lot of water, a lot of books, a lot of money, a lot of sugar, a lot of milk, okay. mm -hmm. a lot of salt, a lot. Okay. Gracias. 
Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. Now here we have some exercises about the space right for each right, the proper quantify and pay attention if it is a count noun or non count noun. Okay, part one for these exercises, choose between much and many. Okay, there is much or many. Which one? Much or many? Many, teach Much. 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 Much noise. There are? Many. Many. There is? Much. Much. There is? Much. Much traffic. And there are? Many. Okay, for this exercise, choose between a few, a little. There is? A few, contable, a little, no contable. Okay, not countable. There is? Teacher, Pollution. Pollution. Uh, is contaminated. Aye. Pollution. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little. A little. There is a little. Okay. There are? A few. A few. A few. A few. Okay. There is? All right. Parking, parqueo. Yes. A few. A few. Sure. <clears throat> A little. And five. Five. A little. A little. A few. A little traffic for a few. A few. A few. A few. It's talking about the lights. Ah. The traffic. Not lights. There are a few traffic lights. Okay, complete this part by using isn't any or aren't any. Singular or plural? Uh, singular. Singular. Aren't are a name. Aren't uh, are a name plural? Aren't any. Aren't any. Uh huh. Isn't any. Isn't any. There. It's any. Isn't, uh huh. Isn't any. There isn't any. Aren't, aren't any. Aren't any. And. Uh, isn't any. There, there much. There is. Okay. There is. I think so. Tengo una, right? Okay. Is an any? Aren't any? Any? Isn't any? Aren't any? A few. Okay. 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 Okay.
a little, a few, a few, a little, many, much, much many, much. Okay, so one mistake. Solo that, right? Mm -hmm. We have, no sé si me apostrofe va a salir bien, así que veamos. Just because, yes. Okay, sometimes all of them correct. Okay, very good. We have another 10 boys and girls. And now we're gonna move from here, it's faster. Okay, so we have to read an article from a magazine and you have to develop the scanning and reading skills. Okay. That one we're going to, vamos a leer el lunes, porque antes quiero mostrarles eh, this part. Eh, ¿Cómo van con la plataforma? Ya están terminando los ejercicios. Hasta la unidad, hasta la sección 3. Porque en este fin de semana tienen que complementar, tienen que completar el midterm, ok, the midterm test, ok, este. Y vamos a comprobar que les funcione porque a veces no hay una no sé si alguien ya lo hizo, tuvo algún problema. But remember that. Ahí me he quedado yo, teacher. Ok, excelente. Entonces recuerden que acá le dan clic ahí, se abre otra ventana. And... Lisa and Peter are talking about the... Alex, you can está ahí también. You can answer, ok. Where did you go oh, for your vacation? I went to us. Then you can answer the questions. The recommendation is that you listen to the uh, you listen to the to the exercise two times, three times, and after you can answer, right? Para que estén más familiarizados with the exercise and vocabulary, right? So that way it's easier for you. So this is the listening. Then we have the complete conversations. Complete the following conversations. You need to finish up the WH question words according to the response given. You can choose among long, good, often, and well. Okay. Okay, for example, you can use here how. Okay, you can use how long, how good, how often, or how well. How long? Uh -huh. I'm going to choose one of well. them. You write it there. Let's go. In the next one, instructions, the conversation, choose the correct past form or the verb given in parentheses. Did you stay or stayed? Which is correct. You choose this one or this one. Uh, what did you did or what did you do? I go it or I went. Okay, Solo uno, only one is correct. I had it or I have. Okay, then you choose the verbs where and being, where were you, uh, where and was, and then you have the other options. Spend it and spend. Okay. Then you can also choose the correct answer. Excuse me, is there a gas station near here? You can say yes, there is. There is, es lo que acabamos de ver, yes. There is any, there is one, or there is some around the corner. How? How not much, how many, or how a few, 
Okay, this is with how many, how much? There are, there are a little, there are many, or oh, there are, for example, this is the number three is the, is the answer for the letter A. It's como a continuation, right? Okay, <coughs> continuation, two and three. Four, is there much, is there many? Or is there one public transportation? The answer, no, there isn't one, no, there isn't any, or no, there isn't none. Okay, in this one, what is the scramble? The scramble is, Revuelto, right? So here, for example, put the words in the correct order to make sentences or questions. For example, dinner, often TV, I watch after. Then you say, I watch TV after. Okay, no, then you have to use often. I Often watch TV after dinner. I often watch TV after dinner. Okay? So then you have to do the same with all of them, right? It is the correct order. Esta es pregunta, vean, aquí hay un signo. Van a tener que comenzar con... This is a negative sentence. Affirmative, interrogative, and negative. Then, and the last one, well, it says, it's this reading comprehension. Lectura comprensiva, right? And here you can read better. And then you answer true or false. The eight questions. That's it. This is not complicated, it's not fácil. Si se concentran en una media hora, creo que lo pueden. Media hora, 40 minutos máximo. You can finish. Ok, creo que es la unidad 4. Ok, questions about the test. ¿Alguna pregunta de los de la estructura o algo. El lunes lo vamos a revisar, right? Cuando ya lo hayan hecho. A ver si tienen alguna otra. Estaba viendo, el chat estaba viendo, estaba Ok. Vamos a leer acá solo para. Que les quede más vocabulario. En on Monday, on Monday, we're going to finish. If, if it happens. Okay. I will read it for you, then please listen. And if you have questions, okay, you, you let me know, okay? Okay. It says the world in the neighborhood. Scan the article, then check the countries that are not mentioned. Brazil, China, India, Japan, Pakistan, Romania, and Thailand. The sidewalks are crowded with Indian women in colorful traditional dress. 
A woman on the corner is selling Chinese paint. A few, a new song from a Romanian band is playing in a restaurant. Is it India? China? Romania? No, it's Astoria, a neighborhood in Queens, New York. New York City. Astoria was once a mostly rich neighborhood. But the area is changing fast. New residents from India, Pakistan, Thailand, China, and all over the United States are moving in. The new residents bring many traditions. These traditions blend together to make Astoria truly multicultural. When people are surrounded by different cultures, they adopt the things that they like, says more residents. Here in Astoria, it isn't surprising that an Indian woman buys Mexican tortillas from a Korean grocery store. It's one of the things that makes the neighborhood special. Three, it isn't surprising that Astoria is becoming a very popular place to live. The rents are reasonable, the neighborhood is safe, and it has very good public transportation. There are inexpensive stores, many nice restaurants, and good fresh fruit and vegetables. Markets and Astoria is a com comfortable place to live. Apartments are usually big and roomy. As one longtime resident said, why live anywhere else? Astoria has it all. Okay, questions about vocabulary? Uh, teacher, is neighborhood. Yes, it's a pronunciation. Neighborhood, correct. Neighborhood in Queens. Mm -hmm. Neighborhood. What else? Uh, blend teacher. Blend es un mec, es donde se se conjugan, se mezclan. Blend es mezclar, okay, conjugar, different. Teacher, a, a blend is, is mezcla. Mm -hmm. Blend is licuadora. Va. Blender. Blender, okay. Blender is licuadora, yes. Exactly. Okay. Anything else? Well, read it. And we will study this on Monday. No matter that in lunes. Eh, pero ya con esto, ya, este, no se les olvide llenar la plataforma y el examen, right? El lunes les voy a mostrar cómo tiene que tener ya sus cuadros de notas más o menos con lo que yo he venido llenando para que tengan una idea. Ok. So, if you need any help, no, ok. So, have a nice weekend. Ok. Relax. Be good. And rest. Ok. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Okay, good night. Take care. Good night.